Happy New Year! Happy 2020! How was your Christmas? Let's cut the shit. I know what you fucking did. You went out to Christmas lunch with your family, and in between trying to avoid discussing politics and slash or climate change and slash or immigration with your racist and slash or Randian and slash or libertarian and slash or just old boomer relatives, you hit the buffet. And guess what? You fucked it up, Icarus. You came in too hot, you piled your food too high, and now you're moaning on the couch trying to reabsorb your food, baby. You basically paid some guy with some vats of chum, 85 bucks a plate, to stuff your colon like you're trying to put a sleeping bag back in its sack. Get in there, you fucking piece of shit. Well, little one, worry no more. Next year's gonna be different. I'm gonna show you a foolproof approach to maximizing your buffet efficiency. I'm gonna show you how to beat the house. Put some shit up there, I don't know what. <laughs> First up, you have to unlearn what you think you know. This isn't a buffet, it's a casino. And how do casinos make their sweet coin? By ensuring that you always spend more than you win. The restaurant is betting that you will always pay over the value of what you eat. We want to upend that equation. In other words, we want to beat the house. Yes, a buffet is about eating a lot of stuff, so for one, blessed moment you forget that the earth is burning, but it's also about winning. So rule one, fuck carbs. So what does this mean? It means no noodles, no pasta, no bread, no chips. All of this is filler and it's cheap to buy in the outside world. So to that end, try to resist the temptation to grab a plate immediately and start piling it up. Take the time to walk around the islands first, taking in all the options. Now you know what's what and you need to target the high value items. Say it with me. High value items. Say it with me, Tina. High value items. High value items. High value items. Seafood, check. Fish, check. Meat, check. And if the buffet has a little part where they cook food to order, you smash that shit. Do not layer up a plate all at once. Go for smaller portions, preferably themed by food group. Here's a good tip, between each plate, create these little buffer plates of things like cheeses or rumbles. Just don't go overboard. At this point, you're probably starting to feel your puku stretch, so you need to promote digestion. And one way to do this is to go to the restaurant with another person. I don't know why you go like by yourself, but fuck I would, I don't know. Conversation at the table will help slow you down. It'll get that hot soupy mess burning away, so you can shove more of that bar marie mulch down your gullet. Dessert. Do not touch the soft serve ice cream or the sauces. Get a little amada of food going on your plate. Get, you know, those little shot glasses of cakes and trifles and tiramisu and stuff like that. Remember, it's okay to hoard your food at this point. What about vegetables and salads? Sure, go ahead. Uh, eat them if you want, but why? By this point, you should have eaten your way through the buffet like a flesh-eating bacteria. Thanks to my foolproof method, you never have to fear another buffet or smorgasbord ever again. Although toey guts and heart disease are a different story.